Hello and welcome! Today we are going to take a closer look at the Schmink Essential Set which comes with a warm and cold primary colors. These are the colors in the set and more information on the back. I think it's really great that Schmink came out with a primary set. It's also very cool to see what colors a brand picks for their primary colors. We're going to compare this to a Daniel Smith set and an Egalo set. So Schmincke has put a lemon yellow, magenta, helio cerulean, chromium yellow hue deep, geranium red, gen Geranium Red and Ultramarine Finest as their primary colors. So this is of course a split primary color. And... Oh, I just hit my camera. And we're going to just slowly fill out this chart. So let's start out with swatching these colors. First up, Lemon Yellow. Next up, Magenta. Helio Cerulean which is a Taylor Green Taylor Blue Green Shade Wow Now we're gonna move on to the warm side with a Chromium Yellow Hue Deep Geranium Red I like this warm tone Red And last Ultramarine Finest So this is a few days later and the heat wave is gone, I think. It's going to rain pretty soon. For the swatches I also added the pigment information. I thought it would be pretty handy when we compare it to Daniel Smith and Egalo. So I already mixed the colors together, this is the cool primary, the warm and everything mixed together. I love the mixes it creates. Schmincke has like a soft but very consistent watercolors which I'm really impressed with. It doesn't granulate at all. So everything kind of looks very uniform. And I love the fact that if you mix the magenta and the lemon yellow, it creates a red, which you can see here as well. And when I tried to neutralize the colors, I ended up with a purple leaning neutral, so I need to work on that. If I want to mix a neutral color, I either use burnt sienna and ultramarine, 
or I use a phthalo blue and an orange color or you can use a green and a red color so in all in all what I want to say is I use a secondary color and a primary color which makes creating a neutral way easier but this is overall a very good exercise to do so let me zoom back out and over the years I collected Daniel Smith watercolors and I also have the primary set. I have the regular ultramarine and I have the French ultramarine in stick form. So I use that one. And to create this chart for Daniel Smith, I used the colors straight out of the tube. I did the same thing for Schminke. To keep it fair, I also did the same for Daniel Smith. Egalo, of course, comes in half pants so let's so let's compare the colors each brand has picked for their split primary set that I own at least. All three uses the same pigment for the cool yellow, which is a PY3, the cool blue PB15 column 3, and the warm blue PB29. The difference is the cool red, which Schminke uses, and magenta PB42, while Daniel Smith and Egalo both use PV19. For the warm red, Schminke uses the PR242, while Daniel Smith and Egalo uses the PR255. For the warm yellow, Daniel Smith and Egalo both use two colors for their warm yellow, which is a PY97 and PY110 for the Daniel Smith. And for Egalo, it's PY 110 and PY 154. While Schminke went with a single pigment color, which is a PY 65. I also want to add that Egalo has a granulating PB 15 column tree, which is quite interesting, which I haven't seen before. And now let's compare these three. Daniel Smith is the first one, Schminke for the second, and this is Egalo. Daniel Smith overall has like very bright mixes. Schminke has very consistent and looks softer in comparison. While Egalo has overall more granulating colors. With Daniel Smith, I seem to make <laughs> like a muted rainbow. <laughs> so I uh, didn't do like a great, I didn't do like a great job to neutralize this color. You can see where I started off with, it's Daniel Smith. While Egalo seems to have <laughs> granulating <laughs> neutral, so that's quite interesting. Daniel Smith creates the brightest green when you mix the cool yellow and the cool blue compared to the Schminke and Egalo. While with Schminke, if you mix the lemon yellow and the magenta, you create a red color. And these two create like a dull-ish orange. Beautiful oranges. And it, I'm really impressed with the granulation of Egalo. It seems to pop up everywhere. While Schmink has a very smooth ultramarine finance, finance, which is actually quite impressive. Like, there's hardly any granulation.
Can I fit it all? I couldn't get all three of them uh, to fit in one frame. So. We're just gonna compare to Schminke. This one is Daniel Smith and this is Schminke. As you can see, Daniel Smith creates like very bold, bright colors. While Schminke seems to be very consistent and looks the same overall. It might be that it's a me problem <laughs> because I created this one first and then Schminke last. So I did it two times before I created the mixing chart for Schminke. It was also way easier to mix the Schminke watercolors compared to Daniel Smith to get the right colors, I mean. Because the phthalo blue seemed to be very overpowering in the Daniel Smith watercolor, but it was the same for Schminke, but it was less extreme, as you can see in this watch. So I had a little issue when it came to uh, mixing the Daniel Smith colors. In the last column, we have mixes with the Ultramarine Finest and the French Ultramarine for Daniel Smith. And you can see these colors don't granulate. While you can see not a lot, but some granulation from Daniel Smith. And for the names, it's just the same order I did for swatching them on top. It's Lemon Yellow, Magenta, Helios Cerulean, Chromium Yellow Hue Deep, Geranium Red and Ultramarine Finest. And the same goes from top to bottom. And for Daniel Smith, Hansa Yellow Light, Queen Rose, Thalo Blue, New Gamboge, Pyro Scarlet and French Ultramarine. And the same goes down as well. So here are the sets right next to each other. We're gonna move on to Egalo. Compared to Schminke, Egalo just seems to granulate way more. And the colors are Lemon Yellow, Permanent Carmine, Transparent Cerulean, Indian Yellow, Vermilion Red and Ultramarine Blue. But yeah, still I can't get over the fact that the transparent cerulean seems to granulate, which is really, really odd. I haven't seen that before. It's probably because they are handmade. The Indian yellow of Egalo seems to be a lot duller in mixtures. Mixtures. It might have been me. Because this one looks very dull. Should I redo it? I'm going to redo it because it looks very, very dull. So I redid the orange swatch, which like I thought it was not enough. Compared to Schminke, I think this is a lot more accurate than what I had before. So sorry for that. So what do you think of these comparisons? Like I said before, the Egala one seems to granulate a lot more and the Schminke doesn't at all. Which is, by the way, quite impressive as well. It makes the colors more predictable. So here are the three swatch charts. The first one is Egala, the second one is Schminke and the last one is Daniel Smith. And maybe this is helpful <laughs> to see them all three next to each other. Remove this one. So what do you think of the Schminke Essential set? It's pretty nice that they have their own split primary set. And it's of course fun to practice with these colors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more from me and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.